Welcome back. In this video, we're going to review how you create a standard backup using Cover Your Assets or the CYA utility. Now this is the point of this program, is to create multiple backups or restore points, snapshots if you will, so that later on when your system isn't working the way you want it to work, you're able to restore and roll back your system to a previous point in time where things were working a-okay. So there's two methods in the CYA utility. You can create what I have called a standard backup, which is where the first backup goes into a directory called one, the second into a backup directory called two, the third into a backup directory called three, and then it just goes back. So in the fourth time you run the, the program, it will go into re backup one, then it'll go into backup two, then it'll go into backup three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, just keeps rotating. The frequency at which it rotates is up to you. It's how quickly you run the program. If you run it once a month, it's once a month. If you run it once a week, it's once a week. If you do it once a day, it's once a day. And then there's the second method, which we'll go over in the next video, which is where you can create manual restore points with a name. You don't have to have one, two, three. The restore points will get whatever name you have decided to give them, like base install or whatever. It does It's up to you. So how do you do that? It's very, very simple. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna get out of full screen mode here, get to my terminal, and I've already put the CYA program in my path, so it really doesn't matter. I'm currently in my bin folder if I do get the present working directory, but I could go anywhere. I could just go home or, and then if I do type in PWD, forget the present working directory, we see we're just in my home. So if I go ahead here and I type in CYA, we will see we, the system runs and you see here it gives us the name of the utility here and we get a list of backups and there are three currently listed those are the ones for the standard or what would I call standard as I mentioned and we're getting a time date stamp of none because we haven't run anything there's no, nothing hasn't created any backups so how do we create a backup really easily all you type in is CYA space save so that's CYA space save now, if you have to put a full path to the file, then you need to do that. But we just simply run this command. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter, or hit enter, I should say. And you see here that we are getting action standard backup. It's checking for pseudo permissions. Pseudo permissions already existed. So it didn't prompt me for a user or password, I should say. If I had not typed in pseudo, pseudo permissions for a while or hadn't entered them at all in this terminal, I would have to enter in my pseudo password. But now it's going through the process, and it's going to back up these directories. You can see here it's done the boot, it's done the bin directory, it's doing the, it's done the Etsy, we've got it complete, it's doing var, get it complete. Now this takes roughly on this system, this is a virtual machine, it takes about five minutes. And I'm not going to have you sit through the whole five minutes, I will pause the recording. But the system is going to go through each one of these directories, and you are able to add your own, which we will get into in future videos, or video, explain how you do that, it's very simple and it will just go through and back up all those directories. Now, since the first time I ran it in the CYA utility, all this is going in, again into the first, or well, the directory called one. Then this next time I run, it will go into the directory called two, as I said, then the third time, third time, and then, like I said, it just repeats. Then one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one, two, three. So again, when you run it the fourth time, it's going to overwrite data in that directory. If a config file has changed or you've added a file, that file will get added and any information has been changed or any files you have removed will be deleted. And the system is intelligent enough, it will check and see if that directory exists. So I'll show you in a, in a future video coming up that what directories it's backing up, which you can see, but you can actually ask it and see what, what directories is it actually going to be backing up. So it's going to go through here and do this. I'll go ahead and pause it, and then I'll get back to you when it has completed the task of backing up. See you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. For you, it's just instantaneous through the magic of the pause and resume button. Anyway, the system has completed, as you can see, it, the directories have backed up, and two additional files that were, well, one additional file and one one, one file was updated as well. There's a write out date, as you see, write out date file, and that's what gives the 
you see each each restore point has a date flag file in it so that CYA will check each directory for that date file and that's where it lists how it gets the information I'll show you that in just a minute and then the system updated the rotation file the last underscore run file so that that way it knows when you run it next time if I were to just hit the up arrow and run CYA space save it would run through again and put all that information in the second directory and if I did it a third time third and then the fourth time back into the first where it put it right now so let's go take a look at this information and finally there's our disclaimer and notice here I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and if I run CYA and I don't hit anything I just CYA and that's it you'll see here that now we whereas we had three nuns we now have a date and time and if I go into CD space home slash CYA and then I go ahead and clear that. I ls it. You see here that we have last run. So if I go ahead here and I cat the last run file, we now have a one here. That's just letting the CYA program it reads that file and then says, okay, I need to go to the next one. And then if I go into points directory here, I'll just cd into the points directory. Go ahead and ls that. You see here we have one, two, three. And if I ls two, you see there's nothing in there. Ls three, there's nothing in there. But if I ls one, we have files in there. And notice here we have a CYA dash date. And if I cat that, so I cat, say, in the one directory and I go CYA and then I hit tab for autocomplete, you see we get our date right here, which is exactly the same. If I go ahead and list the backup directory or the restore points, if I go ahead and list that, you see they're the same because that's where this information is coming from that cya dash date file so the tool is very open and then we have our bin boot etsy lib lib64 root etc directories in there so if i needed to restore that if i go ahead and clear this and let's say i accidentally say i was working with etsy fs tab and i made a i made an error and i saved it and i'm like oh no 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 i didn't mean to do that before i even restart if i simply you have to have backups of course but if i go to say one and i ls this so i go to home slash home slash CYA slash point slash one. Now I go to Etsy and I LS this. You see here's a bunch of files. Well, I can clear this and if I LS this, you'll see that we have an FS tab file in here. So you can see we have an F FS tab. So I could copy this file right back into my just slash Etsy FS tab, the live FS tab. And hey, we've, we've restored our FS tab file that say I accidentally saved something wrong in it or I made some changes and it didn't work right. So again, you're able to browse all this. I did not, as I've said in previous videos, I thought about tarring and gzipping, but this day and age where we have such big hard drives, you know, a Linux system or a Unix system, four to say eight gigs to install it. So if you say keep five copies, even at eight gigs, we're talking 40 gigs. If you can't give 40 gigs or you can't give, say, if it's four gigs, like a server install, you can't give 16 or so gigs to backup. Well, I just come on, come on. So I, I decided not to tar this or, or so that if the tar something went wrong and it didn't open <laughs> or you'd have to decompress it to then get to it. Eh, forget that. So, again, it's not compressed, it's not tarred on purpose. So that's all there is. I have, I'll go ahead and clear this, and you can see here that I can type in CYA or I can type in space CYA list, and you'll see here we get the same information. And if I were to run it again, it would just, like I said, go to two, then three, and I think you get that point. I'm not gonna run it again, you, you understand. We're just gonna, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you do custom backup names, because basically these are, these are as a backup name of one, a backup name of two, a backup name of three. But again, you might want to say create, when you first install Linux, you might want to create like a base install profile. That'd be, that'd be probably a good thing to do in all honesty and keep that around. So you could always roll your system back to when it was just installed. And so I'll see you in the next video.